but tactical tailor, well known, they build really good quality kit. Bungees, nice and tough, but standard pull tab for a shingle, so you can put it over your pouch. Or, my personal preference, just once you've got your magazine in there, pull it just to the side of the magazine. That tension of the elastic tends to pretty much hold it in place. They've also got on the inside, you're probably not going to be able to see it, they've got a black non-slip lining, but quite a lot of pouches use sort of a black, feels smooth, but when it, when it gets in contact with metal or plastic, it sticks quite nicely. Um, so yeah, between, between that elastic holding it in on the side there and that internal non-slip material, it'll hold magazines pretty well without having to put the elastic over the top. And then, as with the Blue Force gear, when you come to draw your magazine from the pouch, you're not gonna have to worry about reaching down, pulling that out of the way first, and then grabbing it. You just, it's just been held in by the tension, boom, straight up. Uh, in terms of attaching to your rig, comes with the Tactical Tailor's favorite thing in the world, the Malice Clips. Um, they basically just replace uh, for anyone that's not seen it before, they just replace the uh, normal Cordura strap that you see on the back with the press studs on the ends. These just do the exact same job, basically. Um, <clears throat> personally, I've put a few of these, a few patches with these things onto vests. And tactical tailors say they're a lot faster, but I find them about the same. They, if anything, I prefer the normal Cordura straps because these things are quite chunky, um, and they, I would imagine they possibly weigh a little bit more. But then again, they don't have the metal bit, so it could be less. I'm not sure, but come with some nice tan ones with the pouch. Uh, because you're going to need them to attach them. You will see some pouches out there, or some bits of gear on sites that um, for sale, that will need these malice clips, but they won't be supplied. So it's nice to have them with them. Or it should be standard, really. I don't know why they sell some things without. I mean, it seems a bit ridiculous to me. It sort of implies that everyone's got loads of spare malice clips hanging around. Which I doubt they do. But yeah, Tactical Tailor 762 pouch for G3s, FN Fals, and SLRs, um, the SR25 or the M110, and, uh, and anything else that uses a magazine that size, the M14 as well, of course. Um, anything uses that size of a pouch, of a magazine even, stick it in this pouch. Well constructed. The Molycam pattern itself is not incredibly faithful to the original, I'd have to say. But as any with any printing a camo pattern onto Cordura, the, it does change the colours. The pattern itself is fine, but the colours come out they come out darker, a, a fair bit darker. Um, Probably maybe nice to have the, the webbing straps there and not cam as well, possibly, maybe even the pull tab. Um, well, not so much the pull tab, but those bits definitely. So, slight downer there on with the webbing with it not being camo and could have possibly done with another one. Also doesn't have the metal grommet in there that pouch tend to feature, but on the other hand you've got little holes there so water will drain out. Yeah, this yeah, it's a low pouch, you've all used them. There's some good ones for it. <coughs> right, uh, onto the stuff from firesport.co.uk again. Um, I've been using them for many years now. Uh, it's, when I first started off in the sport and I was buying everything in the United Kingdom, they were my go-to retailer. Um, there's, there are other ones that are good. Um, but I would say firesport is probably my favorite. The range of stock's decent. Um, and I've emailed and spoken on the phone to the guys who run it and they're, they're top blokes. So if you're, uh, if you're looking at making an order with them and you're wondering what they're like, well, wonder no more. Um, yeah, they, they've recently, they've gotten a lot of quite nice stuff recently. It's on their stock updates. They've added the whole range of Magpul PTS stuff, or uh, pretty much anything uh, Magpul re. Well, everything made by PTS, they've pretty much got it covered down to polo shirts, you name it. Um, and also, something that interests me personally a bit more, they've added a whole lot, again, pretty much the whole line of Millspec Monkey uh, Velcro patches, and they've got a bunch of t-shirts as well. 
I have to say I'm a big fan of the Nuskin. Yeah. Nil spec monkey, trying to say that three times fast. Um, the designs that, that guy does, he's, uh, I've seen a lot of his YouTube videos, I've been on his, his own site, the main site, um, a lot of times. And I think just some really good designs, I have to say. So I'm off. Um, the t-shirt I'm wearing, it, as I say, Nils Brick Monkey. He's got his uh, little monkey logo there. This time in a cog, because this is the Death Mechanic t-shirt. I have to try and so I'll show you the design. Let's try and look over. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be to see. But being, <coughs> being a weapons technician, I figured Death Mechanic. That pretty much applies to me. Um, so the old skull and crossbones, but the skull's been turned into a cog, and the crossbones have been turned into cross spanners, which um, always always works nicely. I think very nicely designed. Um, T-shirt, really good quality, I'd say. Nice cotton, got all the stitching, nothing loose or fraying. So it's a nice thick material. The printing's done well. You can tell this isn't going to wash off. This isn't just going to fade and crumble away on in terms of the design. I've had t-shirts where you know, it's been sort of transferred on the, uh, the designs that is and they just you stick them in the washing machine three times and it's practically gone as if we've never there. I've not washed this yet but I would stake money on the fact that these designs they're going to be staying on quite a few washes um, and I would happily wear this particular t-shirt under my camo or whatever or just as it is um, out to the airsoft field. Um, I generally don't wear cotton t-shirts because they're not as great at getting rid of the sweat and when you've got a plate carrier or a chest rig or whatever you know sweat just can't evaporate and you know through that cordura and say generally you'll have maybe your side or under your arm will be exposed depending on what kind of a rig you're running um, and you need to you really need to get that moisture out of there it's very uncomfortable so I don't t generally advocate a cotton t-shirt under that sort of thing I'd go with um, uh, the British military issue t-shirts are very good, the British military issue new backs um, are great. Uh, I've got, I'm not sure about the cry precision stuff, I don't own one of their new backs as yet, so I don't know what material they make the centre portions out of with those. But, yeah, generally, um, this I would advocate the sort of cotton t-shirt like this, more for kind of general wear. In this case, I bought this to do well, I just bought this because I like, I've already got one of the Velcro patches, the same Death Mechanic uh, icon. I really liked it. I thought I'd get a t-shirt as well. So yeah, really well made. Bit of uh, apparel. Um, and after I got a comment on uh, one of my last videos where <laughs> I was wearing a dark brown t-shirt and trying to show you all the black rifle in a, a not very well lit room. And yeah, cheers to the guy who pointed that out because I didn't think about it myself, but yeah, especially, I mean, it all varies, depends on sort of how your monitor's set up and your graphics card, etc. Um, what your display settings are and brightness, all that sort of stuff, gamma. But yeah, uh, by coincidence, I ordered this in tan because I find that black and OD tends to wash out quite quickly, so I went with a tan one. So it'll stay a bit fresher looking, a bit longer, instead of going sort of grey or light green very quickly and I think this is a much better <laughs> background. So you can actually see all the sort of stuff that I'm showing, which will obviously be military stuff, especially when it comes to guns, there's a lot of black. You know, guns generally are black. So that's, that's this. I can't, this was around, it's about 10 or just over a tenner, I think, not a bad price for a, a t-shirt, which isn't made exactly in mass quantities and it's actually decent quality as well. Yeah, you could go down to Primark and get a plain sort of tan khaki whatever t-shirt for about three quid, but then you're supporting sort of sweatshops and that sort of thing. So do you really want to do that? Maybe not. Support a business like Millspec Monkey, better way to do it, I think. Um, speaking of the Millspec Monkey stuff, this is a, a patch that I'm quite proud of, but it also came with a fire support order. The North Face has been a thoroughly innuendoed or parodied, I suppose is more the correct word, to a hey fuck face. With the correctly shaped logo, the fonts all good. Um, yeah, as always with his patches, 
good quality Velcro on the back, the, the hook part of the Velcro. It's well stitched. I mean, it's hard to say that not too much about a little patch like this. It will stick to whatever you, you know, stick to whatever you want it to, wherever you want to stick it. I mean, it'll stick to that. So yeah, good Velcro. Detail on the stitching is all good. Mine has come with a little pull, but at the end of the F there, there's a little bit of thread coming out, but two seconds of the knife, which is all good. And it's, no one's really going to notice that, I'm just going to show at the end of the day, no one shall. And yeah, I've, <laughs> I was quite happy with that. Um, this is actually, you won't find this on the Millspec Monkey website, this particular one, because this is his, one of the secret patches that you will see where the image is just a question mark um, and no description. Uh, and the trend you'll notice, anyone who's seen the other secret ones, um, if you if you want to find out instantly what all the secret patches are that Millspec Monkey does, then go to Fire Support, check out the MSM section, and it shows you all of them. Uh, the other ones, there's one that's uh, the Gatorade logo with the lightning strike, it's changed to Haterade. Um, so as you can probably imagine, the trend here is the secret ones are all parodies of real life brands. And he probably doesn't want the sort of whole attention of you know those particular brands realizing he's kind of ripped off their logo in a way, in a good way, it's funny. But unfortunately in this modern world, he'd probably get sued or some other ridiculous rubbish, but yeah. That's a patch that I will be sticking in my U-back sleeves or on my admin panel. Quite a lot of you.